the quick uppers with Lopez has been waiting for. Taylor to make mistakes on all night. Just a half step back, boom. Flush on the chin of Taylor. He took it well, but you can't give up those kind of shots all night long. That's a lead uppercut. That's not really a punch you're supposed to throw, and it's a really hard punch to land. But Taylor's landed, I mean, Lopez has landed that shot all night long. Dre, do you remember October of 2020? When Tiafimo had the great win against then number one pound for pound Vasily Lomachenko. And when he came out for the 12th round, he said, I'm going all out. He landed 50 punches against Lomachenko in that final round. It was the most punches ever landed against Lomachenko in any round in Loma's career. Let's see if he applies the same acceleration down the stretch here to close out this one. The crowd is, is loving, loving what they are seeing out of Brooklyn's Teofimo Lopez. Lopez. Is he two and a half minutes away from climbing back to the top of a mountain? Good defense from Lopez. Not allowing Taylor to mount any offense in this last round. It's discouraging that you can't hit the target. And then you get it. Oh, he sets him off balance. Want to remind everybody that we will have the complete post-fight analysis and commentary and all the interviews on the State of Boxing exclusively on the ESPN app. Go to ESPN Plus immediately following the fight. And we will have the state of boxing. You'll hear from the fighters, and we'll give you all the analysis. Tyler better be careful. He don't get knocked out in this last round. Oh, He's three punch combination, including the right hand to the body drag. He's fatigued. He's making bad decisions. And that power has carried all the way to this 12th round for Lopez. And he's looking for a knockout. Lunges again with the left hand. That leaping left was his signature punch of round number eight. Now he does it with the hook, goes underneath with a short right uppercut. Josh Taylor, just not there here, coming down the stretch, trying to defend his status, his undefeated status, lineal champion. It's been all Tiafimo here at MSG. 40 seconds left. Let's see if Lopez and seal this fight with another big shot and try to hurt Taylor or put him down. Oh, there's going to be a lot of I told you so coming from Tiafimo and his father. They felt it. They knew it amidst reported chaos. Look at this finish from Tiafimo. Two right hand headshots in his hometown at the place where he's brought so much drama to the stage. MSG, and he's about to be on top of the world again. Heck of a performance. lost all his belts on a night when he fought with a severe injury that he says almost cost him his life. He returns to New York and puts forth that performance against the undefeated world champion, Josh Taylor. Let's go see those right hands, Dre, that he landed at the end of the final round. Yeah, he's just doing whatever he wants to do at this point, leading with big shots. That's a baseball bat kind of shot. Like Taylor couldn't get out of the way, land it clean, land it flush. Oh, that's good on the game right there, man. Lopez showed what he was going to do, and Taylor still couldn't do anything about it. He closed the show in spectacular fashion. He took away everything, took the confidence from Taylor, took the power from Taylor. Taylor didn't look like himself tonight. We cannot blame the layoff. He took the fight, and Lopez shined tonight in an MSG. Lopez in that final round 
a fight high 21 power punches landed. We're going to hear from the judges in a moment as Top Rank Boxing on ESPN is presented by